Do you struggle to make your videos look more professional? In this video, I'm gonna share with you the tips and tricks that helped me improve my skills behind the camera in just under a week. Hey there, Andrew Cooper, andrewcoopervideo.com. If this is your first time visiting the channel and you wanna get real life actionable tips on how to improve your videography skills, go ahead and smash that like button and hit the subscribe button right now. I always like to give credit where credit is due. So a book that I highly recommend reading is How to Shoot Video That Doesn't Suck by Steve Stockman. Besides the catchy title, it also gives some really great real life scenarios on how to effectively shoot video. The book lays out three key techniques that helped upgrade my videography skills significantly. Usually when you pick up a camera for the first time, you use the camera spray technique, as I like to call it, where you just kind of press record and just start filming everything. But what you really wanna do is think in shots. Instead of simply pressing record and hoping for the best, you wanna take the time to carefully plan and consider each shot. You wanna treat each shot as a building block that contributes to the overall storyline. This is what makes your video visually captivating, intriguing, and ultimately more engaging for your audience. So before pressing that record button, think, what story does this shot tell? By training yourself to think this way, you'll be creating not just videos, but visual stories that resonate with your viewers on a deeper level. Shoot to edit. When shooting video, it's all about predicting what the action might be and ensuring you're ready to capture it at the right moment. This way you won't miss any key shots, which can make or break your video. When I'm filming, I'm always editing in my head, visualizing what the end result of the video is gonna be. This requires me to think on my feet, anticipate actions, and capture only the essential moments that contribute to the narrative of the video. Which is why you want to pay attention to what starts the action and what stops it. In videography, timing is everything. One of the key skills you need to master is understanding when to start and stop recording. Conscious decisions about when to begin capturing a scene and when to end it can have a profound impact on the narrative flow and viewer engagement. And that's something you really wanna keep in mind is that it's not always about capturing the action in its entirety, rather it's about choosing the moments that best contribute to the story. Make sure to keep your shots short, short clips keep the audience engaged and give a professional feel to your video. Do you have any tips or tricks for shooting videos? Go ahead and leave a comment right now and share us your experiences that help improve your video skills. So let's take an example of a wedding. Now, instead of just setting up a camera in the back of the room and just pressing record and letting it record the entire event in one shot, start thinking of it from beginning to end. What actually happens and transpires during a wedding? Maybe an establishing shot showing the location of where it's happening. If the wedding party is getting ready, guests entering, sitting down, flower girl, the wedding party, the groom, and the bride coming down the aisle. After that, you have your ceremony and then your reception. And then during the reception, there's everything that happens like dancing, the toast, and then you might end it with the bride and groom driving off at the end of the reception. Whenever possible, try to shoot the scenes in the order of which they'll appear in your video. This way you can make sure the transitions between shots are smooth. And when done well, in-camera editing can generate high quality, compelling footage that requires minimal post-production effort. What ties all this together is knowing the purpose behind your video, which also means identifying your audience. The style, content, and tone of your video should appeal to the demographic you aim to engage. Creating content aimed at teenagers will be very different than content created for business professionals. Ultimately, this is what's really gonna determine your shots, angles, and editing choices. Now, what's really gonna help you with all of this is getting your thoughts on paper using a storyboard. A storyboard is a sequence of drawings that represent the scenes you plan to film. When you create a storyboard, you're essentially visualizing the video in your mind and translating it onto paper. A well-prepared storyboard is your roadmap to a successful video shoot. After you've nailed down your storyboard, you can get even more specific with the shot list. This list will detail the exact shots you need to capture to bring your storyboard to life. It may include information such as the type of shot, be it a close-up, a wide angle, camera movement, pan, tilt, dolly, and the subjects involved, the location, and the type of action that may be happening. Instead of always having to think on your feet, which can be really exhausting, a shot list keeps your shoot organized because it helps you think through and visualize each shot before you start filming. In the end, creating great content isn't just about having the right equipment and knowing the technical aspects. The most impactful videos are the ones that tell a story. Each shot should convey a specific narrative element, whether it's an emotion, an idea, or a plot development. Developing your videography skills involves training your eye to see beyond the surface. You really want to consider the message or feeling each shot might convey to your audience. It's also about storytelling, creativity, and experimentation. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, again, don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is Andrew Cooper at Andrew Cooper Video. I'll see you next time. Take care.